All right, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, we have a video on the person that was dropped by Target for selling his uh, satanic merchandise, right? So this is about a trans designer that was recently dumped by Target because of the issue of his merchandise that people have found out and realized his background and what he stands for. Again, this is a trans person, so I believe it's a female, if I'm not mistaken. They found out what she stood for, and basically they're not for this, and uh, they were dropped by Target. This entire line that she was selling at Target has been dropped, supposedly anyway. I haven't been able to confirm, aside from a couple things on the website that was actually removed but i didn't well, i wasn't able to confirm if everything was removed so you guys can confirm if you want and leave a comment down below and let us know but it says trans designer dumped by target explains how she got smeared as a satanist so we're going to get into this article guys but of course before we do just consider giving this video a like to push us out into the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing because we're on our way to 21,000 subscribers it says when eric carnell was contacted by a target distributor to create tote bags and clothing for the retail giants pride month lineup she was ecstatic it was the biggest opportunity she had received since she took a leap of faith in 2017 and left her management job at starbucks to launch abprolin an art and apparel brand for the lgbtq plus community why am i not surprised that this fucking chick <laughs> this this chick was a manager at starbucks why am i not surprised it is starbucks ladies and gentlemen it is starbucks right this is like the, the the woke white liberal woman's haven is starbucks you go to any starbucks you're gonna see them like crazy they're gonna come out like roaches it's ridiculous but again i'm not surprised that this person who was an ex-manager at starbucks thought it was a great idea to now make lgbtq merchandise they found a way to grift and not only that they made it based off of hating christians or Catholicism or whatever by bringing up Satan. And you'll see what I mean in a minute because she's trying to say that she's not a Satanist, but according to her merchandise, she definitely is. It says, I sell wholesale to shops and stuff, but this would have been the largest scale project I've worked on, said Carnell, a 29-year-old trans designer in London. Bro, what is going on with London lately? London has been coming out with so much woke nonsense people. I, I don't even know what's going on. I need Ryan Roger Athlete to, to help me out here to understand what is going on over there, bro? Like, let's let's figure out can we figure out what factory is making all of these woke transgender people over in london and, and and let's like let's let's shut it down can we shut down the factory or something it says it was really exciting and that they reached out to me i felt like i'd sort of been noticed and recognized yeah i'm sure you love that but she, uh her big moment ignited a firestorm as it rightfully should have it says shortly after target began its rollout of more than 2,000 products for its annual pride collection this month anti-lgbtq activists started attacking the store in social media posts and right-wing videos oh it's always right-wing videos even though i've seen plenty of left-wing people who are not down for child grooming completely against this but you guys never want to acknowledge those people you only want to acknowledge the people who claim to be conservative or on the right because that's going to fit your narrative but i digress it says a common occurrence whenever a major corporation shows support for the community well it may be a common occurrence now but it wasn't a super common occurrence a few years ago and that's because little by little people have woke up they have completely decided to stop enabling the grooming community slip in into the lgbtq community that's the problem you guys have your activists that are terrible for your community they make you look bad they stand for things a lot of people hate and that is the hate that is coming your way it has nothing to do with who you sleep with because nobody gives a shit i don't know if anybody that's ever cared about how many dudes take it in the ass i really don't care nobody cares about that you care more about it than we do you care about it so much that you want to wear it on your shoulder as some sort of a title which is very annoying mind you but usually again that stuff gets gets enabled they were perfectly fine with that nobody cared to uh, fix that nobody cared to say anything about it but the moment you decided to include the kids that's where you messed up that's where you crossed the line and that's where you started to get backlash rightfully so you deserve every bit of what's coming your way but that's neither here nor there so it says activists soon discovered carnell's independent web store where she has sold among other items pins and medallions that use satanic and occult imagery to make points about transphobia a lavender goat-headed medallion that reads satan respects pronouns is among her most popular designs a pin depicting a guillotine with the label homophobe headrest might be the edgiest oh so none of this is satanic material so you're allowed to showcase satanic imagery occult imagery but then you get mad when you get labeled a satanic person that's just kind of weird to me right it says within days tabloids and conservative news outlets were painting target as a promoter of violence drugs and the devil target customers shocked after company features pride items by satan and its partner read the typical fox news headline well i like how you like to say that but then it's literally this like come on you have a pin with a goat 
with the trans whatever logo and then it says Satan respects pronouns. You really mean to tell me that's not going to piss people off? Why are you allowed to attack someone's religion, but they can't attack your own personal ideology? Like, why are you immune from any and all criticism, but then you're allowed to make pins attacking certain religions? That just, that seems a little one-sided, don't, don't you think? It seems a little like special behavior, and I understand that's what you're really looking for at the end of the day. You're not looking for equality. You're looking for supremacy. But still, I, I think that's a little one-sided, don't you think? It says the chain never actually sold any of Carnell's Satanist merchandise, but it soon pulled his other items from its shell, uh, shelves, including a fanny pack with swirling planets that reads We Belong Everywhere and a tote bag with a UFO that proclaims Too Queer for Here. Given these volatile circumstances, we are making adjustments to our plans, including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant controversial behavior, uh, the company said in a statement this week, citing threats the company had received against its staff. The store also confirmed that it moved its pride displays from the front of the stores to the back at some locations in the south where confrontations among shoppers had erupted. Now, I, I love how you talk about the threats against the company. Are you going to uh, talk about the threats made by the LGBTQ activists against Target? Or are you not going to talk about that? You're going to talk about the conservatives who are making social media videos about themselves whining in Target and complaining and then walking out. You're going to talk about that, but you're not going to talk about the LGBTQ activists, the left-wing activists that decided to take upon themselves to do a bomb threat against four or five targets near them. You're, you're not going to talk about that. Guaranteed you'll never even fucking mention it because you're such a show media website that you have to protect the narrative at all costs. That's your job. Your job is to protect the narrative. And right now, the narrative is to make LGBTQ people look like impossible to do bad they need to be infinitely good they need to be incapable of bad incapable of evil they are just marginalized groups of people and that's basically it it says besides cornell's items target's web stores have also stopped selling swimsuits designed for transgender people after conservatives falsely claimed that they would be marketed to children well i proved it in my last video so i'm not going to do it here if you guys want to go see the proof you can go check out the video i proved in my last video that they in fact actually did use underage kids to market the smallest sizes in those adult swimsuits that happened to be tuck friendly so in fact they were marketing tuck friendly swimsuits to children even though it was classified as adult swimsuits Swimwear, they made the smallest sizes so small that they can fit on young children, and then they used young children to market those small sizes. So, again, Washington Post, are you going to redact? Probably not. Most likely not. You never do. It says the move has caused an outcry from LGBTQ advocates who accuse Target of having a uh, caving to a cancellation campaign by anti-trans extremists, much as Budweiser's uh, chief executive was accused of doing last month when he vaguely apologized for a can of beer commemorating trans activist Dylan Mulvaney. Carnell has found the entire situation distressing. For starters, I don't believe in Satan, he said. If I believe in Satan, I'd have to believe in the Bible, and I consider myself an atheist. He is hardly the first person to embrace satanic imagery to make a political point. The U.S.-based satanic temple, largely a collection of atheists and humanists, towed an eight-foot sculpture of the horned deity Baphomet to the Arkansas Capitol building several years ago to call attention to conservative attacks on the separation of church and state. Listen, they can say whatever they want to say, but I highly doubt that they don't believe in Satan. They would be one of the people to tell you they don't believe in Satan, but at the end of the day, they absolutely probably do. They stand for everything evil stands for, just in the way they act, just in the way that they're trying to hide things from parents and keep kids under the wraps and what they're doing to kids and convincing them to do uh, transgender ideology, transitioning, all that stuff. Like They are absolutely practicing some evil shit and this is coming from someone who's not religious at all i am not religious in the slightest and yet even i can see the absolute evil that's going on in this particular community when it comes to their activist section so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out